Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time today. Thank you. Minister of the PAC, I'd like to speak to you as a, as a physician. Mm -hmm. I used to work in Nineveh in your home writing, oh. um, and now I'm here in Ottawa working with another disadvantaged population, mm -hmm. African refugees. As I'm sure you're aware, mm -hmm. at the end of this week, Dramatic cuts are going to happen to the health care coverage that refugees <coughs> receive. Um, in, in particular, this includes prescription medication. This means that diabetics won't be able to access insulin. It means that people who are severely mentally ill won't be able to access antidepressants. So I'm interested, as we're talking about accountability today, um, who do you think should be held accountable for the, the outcomes of these cuts? Uh, thank you for your question. Um, what I can say is that our decision is to provide the same care, medical care, to refugees that every Canadian receives. So before a refugee got better health care coverage than the 30 million Canadians. So our decision is to uh, continue with the services to refugees, but it will be the same as all Canadians. But that's not true. So yes, what is, is happening? So mm -hmm. in your own community, for example, most prescriptions in Egypt people are covered by the non-insured health benefits program yeah. that prescribes prescription medication. They can see a physician for whatever they want, not only if the condition is considered a matter of um, public health mm -hmm. concern or urgent or essential. So it's not going to be the same come next week for refugees. And, and it's really false what's being put yeah. out there. This is going to impact the health of other Canadians because of the burden that we place on the healthcare system by people becoming very sick, plugging up mm -hmm. emergency departments. And I think it's unfortunate from your side working in health side, I don't know if you've had any input. In terms of, I mean, as I said before, the decision is to provide the same care to Canadians uh, and refugees the same. Right now, refugees come to Canada and get better care than Canadians. That's, the, that's where we are right now. So the decision is not to cut care, but to make it the same for all Canadians. That refugees would get the same care as Canadians. So I think there's 30 million Canadians here uh, that are not aware that refugees get better care than they do. And so in terms of the services, the services will continue. Um, it, it won't be in elected areas, um, as you mentioned. Um, and just to comment on the non-insured health benefits, um, non-insured health benefits is not in elective care. Um, just so It's not just for everything. It's very specific in terms of what is covered under the non-insured. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you for you. raising your concern. Thanks very much for coming today. Thank you. Thanks for hosting.